What's up everyone? It's Natalie here and today I'm coming to you guys with such a sad video for me. I am going to be doing a graduation chit chat get ready with me so this makeup I feel like you guys have seen me do before like it's nothing that's special or unique but I just really wanted to film a get ready with me because it is my last college video ever so I'm gonna vlog and stuff but like this is like my last college video ever so it's really really sad I'm graduating from NC State Go pack. I am graduating in a degree in industrial engineering for those of you guys that are new here. So it's really sad that my days here are over, but my videos will get better. You guys, like, don't worry just because I'm not doing like college week in my life anymore. Like, I'm still gonna be doing like the same type of videos. So if you guys like this video and any of my other ones, be sure to give this vlog or give this vlog. Give this video a why can't I speak? If you guys like this video and all my other videos, please make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. That helps out my channel a ton. And also subscribe to me if you guys like this video and follow me on Instagram. I'm doing actually a huge giveaway on this app called Dote. So you guys can follow me on there. It's like a really, really great giveaway. And I'm actually having like planning for two, like at least two more giveaways in the next month. So you won't want to miss those. So follow me on there. And I'm just going to get started into the makeup. I'm going to start with a primer. I'm just using the spackle one. Um, it's Laura Geller spackle. It's like a champagne-y like glowy color um, But I also want to make this video like a chit chat one. So I just want to talk about college It's probably gonna be such a long video, but I don't care I'm going in with the Glotion from L'Oreal. I use this in like all my videos. It's great It's kind of like a dupe for the max strobe cream except I honestly like it better but I wanted to reflect on my years of college. So basically, I am so sad that it's coming to an end. NC State, if any of you guys are looking into applying for colleges or like thinking of where to go and you don't know, highly recommend NC State. I seriously loved it so much. I just loved the environment of it. I loved the tailgates. I love the people here. They're really, really down to earth and like chill people. Everyone I met for the most part was super super nice like you're obviously gonna have like people that you don't like everywhere But for the most part, I just thought the environment was such like a friendly open environment, which I thought was like amazing um, I absolutely loved it so much like I cannot be so thankful that I went to NC State I was between NC State and Clemson when I was deciding on where to go to school And I'm like so beyond thankful I chose NC State because Clemson now looking back on it I just like feel like I wouldn't have fit in there like I'm not southern. I'm not like a sorority girl uh, I'm not that big into sports like don't get me wrong. I love NC State tailgates But like I don't I never like went into the football games like I'm just like NC State was so much more for me It was such a city vibe in like in North Carolina and it was just so much better Like I don't know. I just absolutely loved it so much If you guys go here or thinking of going here comment down below If you guys want me to do any like how to apply to college videos or anything like that because I can still definitely do those Let me know in the, the comments. Yeah, that's the word I literally use this foundation every single day of my life, but I'm using the Fenty one. It's so good, you guys. Rihanna came out with such an amazing foundation for, like, a celebrity. You know when celebrities make makeup lines, I'm always a little hesitant because I'm like, did you really do anything or did you just smack your name on it? But, like, I absolutely love this one. I think it's amazing. Let me know also if you guys are in college. I really want to know that because I want to know, like, my viewers' ages I know that on YouTube and Instagram I can see the demographics and I have mostly 18 to 25 year olds but I want to know exactly how old you guys are so comment down below if you guys are like freshmen in college in high school still like what age you guys are but yeah I really want to know if you guys are wondering I am 22 years old I just turned 22 in April so I'm like it's weird saying that I'm 22 because I'm so used to saying I'm 21 and even then people are like oh my gosh you look like you're 14 years old like I thought you were 16 I thought you were still in high school like so many people are like oh is this your high school graduation I'm like no I'm graduating with a degree okay like <laughs> now I'm taking NARS concealer this is like the radiant cream I think or something like that I don't know um and I'm just gonna put that for my under eyes because I like feel like I don't get any sleep I wake up so early and I don't go to bed late, but I just wake up, I always wake up before my alarm. Like every single day I wake up at like 7.30 or 8 a.m. And I just stay on my phone. And I hate being on my phone in the morning. I just feel like I'm like so unproductive and like it's like hurting my eyes, like the blue light, I don't know. 
Also, now that I am graduating and it is the summer, so even if I wasn't, I wouldn't really be able to do like college videos because it's the summertime. Let me know what videos you guys want me to see. That would help me out so much if you guys could just let me know like video ideas. And that would just help me out. I'll also be in LA this summer. So if you know any LA YouTubers that you think I should collab with, let me know. I'm only living there for a summer and then I have like my big girl job afterwards. And I feel like so many of you guys have commented saying that you like my videos because I'm relatable. Like I don't like live in LA. I don't, you know, I'm not like one of those that's like YouTube is like my life, I guess, which I love YouTube. Don't get me wrong. It's literally what I am excited to do. It's what I wish I could do full time. But I also realized that a degree is so important um, and can we just talk about how thankful I am to have gotten my education and I am not saying this saying that you need a degree because I think there's so many careers that you don't need a degree like if you want to do hair you don't need a degree if you want to like do um, manual labor like you do not need a degree and I'm saying like working in construction working in like the uh, working in a hair salon working at a management of like a boutique or something like you do not need a degree for that so I don't want to say that college is necessary because I don't think so. I wish that as a country and as a society we didn't place that much emphasis on college and this might be a huge unpopular opinion but because then I feel like people just go to college because they feel like they have to then they get in debt because of student loans and then they end up doing something that they didn't need a degree for and wasted so much money and are now in debt and like I just think why do we feel like we have to go to college like so many like we do not have to go to college i'm so thankful i went to college and i'm glad i did because with what i wanted to do aka like engineering i needed a degree there are some certain things that you need a degree for and i highly encourage people if they have a desire to go and they want to go to 100 percent go but i'm just saying like you shouldn't feel pressured that like if you don't go to school then you're stupid or something like that because i feel like that is how we as a society especially my high school have portrayed it like if someone didn't go to college at a high school everyone would be like oh my gosh like that's so like uh, like wow or like if they went to community college which is so smart by the way because you're saving money for the first two years like getting your gen eds out of the way people would look down on them and i was always like why like why are you looking down on them they're literally being smart they're saving money like not everyone has the financial means to put themselves through college or for their parents to put themselves through college without debt student loans are real you guys so i feel like we should do things to avoid them on my translucent powder from laura mercier i'm just gonna dust this underneath my eyes you guys know the drill i do this in like all my makeup tutorials i feel like i like don't branch out but the whole reason i do these is so i can talk to you guys while i'm getting ready like it's it's just fun for me okay now i'm going in with the marc jacobs dew drops this is so pretty i love the marc jacobs dew drops they're so so nice and i don't think i can ever get through this bottle because i literally do like a little dot every single time i put it on like boop like literally that much and i have this entire thing like how is this ever gonna go away it's not <laughs> If you guys still want to see the how I chose my major, I stopped doing those because I literally like don't know anyone else with different majors. So it's just hard for me. Like my friends that I had different majors in, they came to talk to me. Like they like were in my videos and now I don't know people in other majors. So I really want to find more people. But I feel like those videos were so helpful because I really wish I had something like that when I was deciding my major I just think it would have been like so beneficial and helpful and like a lot less confusing because college can definitely be such a confusing uh place like you're 18 years old and you're supposed to make all these decisions it's crazy I'm going in with Hula by Benefit Bronzer um where is my mm, here it is okay in with my Anastasia glow kit which I have actually been using kind of recently which is I haven't used this in a while now I'm using it again and I think I'm gonna do this color I really want like a more like purple I'm gonna mix these two together I think and do a highlight like that so I'm just first gonna put like a little bit of the purple and with the other side of the brush I'm gonna do like a light dust of the other one and I'm gonna put it on my nose This 
blush. It's from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to like lightly, because it's pretty pigmented, dust it on my cheeks. I got eyelash extensions, so I'm not going to put anything on my eyes because it hasn't been 48 hours yet and I can't wet them. So I don't want to like be like taking off my makeup later today and getting them wet. So I'm just going to leave my eyes like this, but my lashes look pretty bold, so it's fine. Reflecting on college too is just so weird because I am never like I'm never gonna be back in this room I'm never gonna really be in Raleigh like I don't really have a reason to my boyfriend is living in Raleigh So I'll come visit him, but like he's not by NC State like he's in like a totally different part of Raleigh so That's gonna be weird like coming back, but not coming back to school Like I will never be back here again, and it just hasn't hit me yet like this is like my last night in this place or like yesterday was my last night in here like this is my last day in this place and it's just so weird to me i'm gonna do my lips now i want to do more like a nude like a matte nude and then a gloss over so i'm gonna line them with this urban decay like it's like a natural like a little darker than natural lip liner and i'm gonna put this nyx lingerie this is in the color lipley 06 is the number. I love the formula to this because it doesn't make your lips chapped and it's such a thin formula, but like it's still pigmented. And then I'm applying a tiny bit of the Too Faced over it. Not too much, but just a little bit. Okay, that is the finished look. I'm also in my PJs in case you guys were wondering, but I know that I keep saying this, but like it hasn't hit me. Like, the thoughts are going through my head and like the words are coming out of my mouth but my emotions have not reached like it hasn't caught up yet with my emotions so it doesn't like i'm not sad right now but like i know what is happening is sad i don't know it's so weird it just hasn't hit me yet i don't feel like it's real um that this is gonna be like my last college video it just like really doesn't feel real right now so thank you guys for being on this journey with me i really loved filming this video i really wanted to film this video just so i could document it and so that you guys could see a little glimpse of to like the end of my college career i guess and also i'm gonna vlog it and i'm gonna put it on this channel if you guys don't know i do have a vlog channel and my sister started one shout out to her sorry just gonna throw that in there but anyways i just started a vlog or i have a vlog channel so you guys can subscribe to that if you guys like my vlogs but yeah um thank you guys so much i love you guys i would not have been able to get through college without you you guys seriously gave me such a purpose to like keep going in college and just like made me happy when i felt like i was like miserable or felt like i felt like dropping out or felt like i didn't know what i wanted to do in life and felt so unmotivated and yeah so just thank you guys so much we did it and i'll see you guys as a ncsu alum <laughs>